just check the stream. All right, still going. All right, so now actually now we are set up to actually create uh, the code to get uh, the entity inside the Quake engine. So, and as we said, we just copy kind of the behavior of an item health. Um, so what I do um, is I just look where item health is kind of mentioned in the code. Um, so, okay, that's a lot of stuff. The capture the flag stuff is not really needed. Okay, so here we RNG game, maybe underscore items. G is probably for game. And this is SP item health. Okay, see, it kind of defines probably the health count, how much health should be added when the uh, player touches it. Um, so this is kind of the spawn function. When the map gets loaded, um, this function is being called. Yeah, this is for small, see, only two, that's negligible. Um, large, better. Oh, and this is the mega health. This is really worth it if you find that. Okay. So what do we do? Um, we go to, we go here. Uh, actually, we added a health pack, right? So at some point the code should kind of break here. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is not the correct one. Which one did we actually put in? Like, what is it? Um, it's a large one. Okay, so we have to go to large. So let's see what happens. Okay. Um, so what is the call stack? Spawn. This is an entity, right? Here, the class name is item health large. And then check for a normal spawn function. And this is, yeah, this is the SP, uh, S spawn T. Um, uh -huh, no class name. Let's see, go back here. So what I want to try is so in the map file, if we go back to the map file, um, Base Quake 2 maps, and we called it Python no Mansion. Let's open it. And the entity, there's our, our own one, right? Item vaccine, and info player start with the health pack here. Item health large. Um, so this string is parsed somewhere. Um, let's see. Um, yeah. Let's see. Like maybe it's not uh, health large. Spawn. Okay. See. Um, so. When Quake loads the map file, as I told you earlier, and this is a fact I know because I wrote a BSP renderer once, and when you open the BSP, the, the BSP file we compile, all these entities are just as passed like as is, as they are in the map file. The BSP file contains them as a string. And actually, to prove this, um, just not talk about it, 
we open the hex editor again and there should be these strings should be there like uh, where's the BSP we create here Python mansion BSP so there's the header and then comes a lot of strings probably yeah see so here's all the stuff so on there if you look for item vaccine it's somewhere here yeah class name item vaccine right and the spawn position um, origin right so all of these are just a string they get read by the engine and um, and then if it finds a matching like uh, a string in this dictionary it will call the sp the spawn function i don't know what is what is called s capital sp spawn spawn i don't know but um what you just do we we copy that right we add another one um item and we call it item vaccine okay uh but of course um we so now this should already work because we have this uh in the bsp and we'll just call this so we would have now we start this like compile it first the game right um we should have two large health packs in the game in the map let's see yeah see now this is a health pack goodbye goodbye um, like the it takes too long to reload i think the shotgun i want to change that at some point honestly the kind of the the shooting the feeling of the shooting is better in quake one than in quake two in my opinion it's kind of more direct um really so um but now we say sp item vaccine right but of course we have to um, first create this um, so let's go back where this function is defined and just copy that copy that because i'm a copycat <laughs> so funny um, and call it sp item vaccine okay so now we also say this is items pipe no uh, see this is all really straightforward so quite cool to modify python vaccine uh, models items python vaccine and then we go to tries md2 so again the behavior now will be like a health thing we, we will check what this does actually later uh, also it's kind of searching for something by a string kind of a dictionary also uh, but let's see if this actually works and we see our um, own model there. Oh, it failed. That's great. What's what's going on here? Uh, undeclared identifier. Um, really? Um, it's not a constant. Sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, maybe there is kind of a... So kind of the declaration uh, the definition is somewhere else ah see um, so we also need to kind of whoops control c control v sp item so now we the engine knows about this uh, symbol and we can hopefully compile it yes let's see oh fuck has a skin trailer uh, tries and has a skin taller than 480 oh okay <laughs> so our skin is too large we have to go back to blender and oh no can I just go back to the texture, yeah, texture paint and say image, save as, and kind of, can I, oops, can I shrink it? Can I make it smaller image, scale, invert, resize? That's good. So we, uh, 480 is, 480 is a weird, uh, kind of a weird size. Uh, let's say two, 
56. All right. Let's say OK. Then save it. Image, save as. Uh, desktop is perfect. TGA, save as image. So now the resolution is like not a great, but um, hopefully uh, this will this will work. File export Quake to yes, it's the tries all stays the same. Export. So now we go back to uh, Quake Dev and base Quake two models. Uh, items Python vaccine skin TJ. Yeah, now it's much smaller. So let's go here, copy it over to the source code repository. Yes, so replace, we delete maybe. I don't know what is in the PCX even. It's just pitch black. Um, maybe it also needs a PCX for these kind of models, but I don't think so. I think I got it running when I tested this. So um, let's go back. Let's see. Okay, so now uh, we have our own model. But of course, it's just a health pack, right? And it's kind of loading, or is it? Kind of, yeah, it's not perfectly. So we also have to make sure this is like where the reference point is. We, in Blender, we use just like, we put it at the center of math, ma mass, sorry, center of mass. Um, so if we put it up a little bit, then, uh, it will be even further up. So like this is something we have to think about also like this is way too bright, right? See, this is should not be that bright and again, this is probably related to the indexed uh, color palette um, So another thing to take care of Quake 2 rules Coffee is king, Python was here and then garbage um, pick me up. All right. Um, so uh, wait, we we actually didn't test if it's uh, also doing something. So let's get shot by these monsters. Okay, and let's walk over there. Ah, fuck! Yeah, yeah, it did something. It said health. Okay, good. Um, all right. So now. Um, we are able to have our own object here and just resemble the, or copy the behavior of the um, large health pack. Um, but now, uh, of course, we want to do our own program, our own behavior. So what does find item do? So this pickup name It kind of checks the name health. Game item. Yeah, and there is a item list. Aha, uh -huh. so it goes through the item list right, and searches for this pickup name. Pickup armor. Pickup, this is the pickup name, I guess. I guess so. There's something like um, health, right? Ah, okay. So what if we just also copy that? Right? Add a new entry to the dictionary, so to speak. And so this is apparently the pickup function, right? Um, go here, yeah. 
So this is the actual logic that happens when we touch it. Um, but we say, uh, now this is the vaccine. Okay, so if we go back to items, uh, where is it? Uh, G items. Uh, oh, it's actually there. So let's go back to vaccine. And we don't find the item health anymore, but we find it vaccine. Okay. Um, so let's go back here. Um, I can, oh, okay, this is an icon that's getting displayed, like a sprite, a small uh, 2D sprite uh, as user interface. Um, so we could also provide our own, but right now I think that's fine. Probably the sound that's being played when we pick up something, like a generic pickup sound, uh, but also it has like all these sounds. Uh, Pre-cache, uh, kind of it. It has all these sounds in the cache, in a, in a buffer. I don't know about the sound actually, but let's check this one. Pick up health. We want to have something like pick up vaccine. Of course, this doesn't exist yet, but let's see. Um, let's add it. So this is called pick up vaccine. See, and now we actually pick up health. Now we have pick up vaccine, right? And compile this and see if this still works. So behavior should be the same still. Um, so again, let's get shot. Okay, let's get rid of these. Come on, guys. So, and now if I run over it, whoops, vaccine, yeah. And it even displays the vaccine. 